Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thanks for joining me. So guys, I'm actually out in my greenhouse because my husband is speaking to his brother in Ireland, so I can't record in the house. So this is actually just a preview to a pre-recorded video that I did. So basically it's just a casual video. I'm just showing you the progress on some of my plants. So I just did my hall and my dining room. Um, there's just too many to do the whole downstairs so I thought I might do them in a, like a little mini series again. So let's start with the hall and the dining room and now I'm out in my greenhouse so I will actually record my greenhouse today for one of my videos maybe next week. So guys come join me. I know it's actually quite dark here but this is my hall that I set up with lights if you recall and just to give you an update. So there's my philodendron my Hartley philodendron doing beautifully. Now I did have to replace the skindapsis which got root rot and I just got myself a little philodendron Brazil which seems to be enjoying its life and I also took some cuttings, I think I may have done this on camera, of my Polonia repens. So there's the cuttings of my Polonia repens and guys look at my mycams. If you watched the first video it it was like about this big look how much it's grown and this was in my cans that I that was really long and I cut right back till it had absolutely no leaves so it's doing great here but I wanted to show you my Sansevieria so I moved my Sansevieria from which is now my den out to here and look at all the new growth I just got a new baby on my variegated whale fin I also got some new growth on my Sansevieria, um, I think it's Kirkii, I can never remember the name of this one, but this is some new growth in here. And look at my Kirkii Blue, I just got a new baby here. My Cleopatra just got a new baby here. And um, he just got bigger, but nothing much, didn't get any new babies. And these ones are, they may be bigger, but you know, I haven't noticed, noticed on these. I just noticed it on the others because they got new babies. But this was just a cutting. I chopped up a Monsteria Deliciosa that I had that got thrips and I got a couple of cuttings out of it. So that's one of, it, one of them. My Taniki has put out, this is a new leaf it put out since it was here. And you can see there, there's another new leaf coming. And I decided to move my bird of paradise to here. Now this is pretty rough looking. I just got this actually, I, I got it as a curbside pickup um, during the last lockdown. So it you know, that was a new leaf that came out, but it was actually ripped on its way out. But I am going to trim it and I'm hoping that it will be beautiful when I get rid of all the damaged leaves. So you can see it does have room to grow here. So I am excited about that. Okay, what's going on in my dining room? So if you watched my haul video, you would have seen my subfastatum um, here. And this is my Wallisii, my Spathophyllum Wallisii, which is a variegated peace lily. Now there should be I, I'm hoping that eventually I'll get some white on this because the picture of it on the um, website did have white on it. So hopefully I will get some white. My Raphidophora tetrasperma that I mounted on this wine rack, you can see has put out lots of nice new leaves. And my Anthurium, the one in my greenhouse is actually putting out a new leaf. There's nothing on, nothing new on this one at the moment. My Maharani gave me a new leaf here. I actually just moved this. So it was actually over here and I moved it to this side because I've put my Florida Ghost over here because it gets more sun in the morning. And I bought this Tenanthe and this is called a Never Never Plant. It is a, a, like, a, like a calathea, so it does need a lot of humidity. And I usually have this humidifier going. It's doing really nicely and it has put out some new leaves. I finally, I bit the bullet guys, and I finally took two cuttings of my Monstera Thigh Constellation. Let me put it back here so I can show it to you better. 
So I just adore this leaf. And I thought I was going to get two cuttings with two leaves, but actually I didn't judge it very well, so I did lose one leaf. So I have a one leaf cutting and a two leaf cutting, but you can see there it's starting to root. So I'm excited to see how this one will grow. And here is my Mandula Pothos. So I am thinking guys, because I only have one stem on my Mandula. So I'm thinking of taking a cutting, possibly around maybe here and rooting it and putting it back in the pot so that I'll get a fuller plant. This came from Thailand and it did get thrips. You can see the old leaves. I cut off the thrip damage, but then I have all these new leaves now. So it's actually starting to take off. It's doing beautifully. So I'm, you know, I'm nervous to do it, but I do want to make it a fuller plant. Look at my Callistophylla. Isn't she just beautiful? My Hoya Callistophylla. So this was one plant and it was a trailing plant and I took a cutting to make it bigger and I somehow, I don't know what I did with the cutting, but it actually, it looked like it was doing great and then it failed. And then I had this other cutting that I imported from Thailand, which was doing dreadfully. It was soft, it, I couldn't get it to firm up. So I had it downstairs in my, uh, under my grow tents and now it is absolutely perfect. It does have a slightly deformed leaf, which is like extra cute. Do you see it there? So now I've put the two of them together. They're loving life and they're doing wonderfully. Guys, my Senecio Mycanoides. Can I show it to you? I just think this is so incredibly cute. Look at how much it has grown. Do you guys remember when I planted this up? It was so tiny. Isn't it just adorable? Whoops, I nearly fell there. So my poor Hindu rope. I did have a little bit of trouble with my Hindu rope. One of the stems got wrinkled. It just happens with Hindu rope. I don't know what causes it, but it was like a long stem. So I cut it and I have it down in one of my prop boxes now. I mean, it's not the longest, it's not the longest stem, but still I was a bit upset about that because this is truly, truly a beautiful plant. I know it's hard to see her there because I'm backlit. There's a squirrel out in my garden. Can you see him? There he is. He's planting his little nuts in my pot there. <laughs> my painted lady philodendron is growing away. I've put her on a moss pole and she seems pretty happy. Her leaves aren't huge yet, but I, this isn't the brightest window. So I'm thinking as the days get longer, she should do better. And of course, we can never forget the beautiful fry deck. I just, I'm just enamored with this plant. It's so incredibly beautiful. We have another new leaf coming there. Oops, the smaller leaves down here, but they're actually all beautiful, the leaves. Look at them. They're so cute. And this one here, they're so beautiful. So slowly but surely, I'm getting more leaves. I started out with three, one, two, three, four. Now four with the fifth one coming. And it's pretty common for it to lose a leaf when, once it gets a leaf, but I'm hoping that it's starting to mature a little bit. And now it's starting to hold on to its leaves. Such a beautiful plant. This, which is supposed to be my pink splash, I don't know what this story is with this, but it hasn't really put out any growth. But you can see that some of the leaves are quite mature. So when the leaves kind of become three leaves as opposed to, let's look at the one next to it here, the, the elbow. So when it kind of loses that rabbit ear look and or would this be more rabbit ear look? I'm not sure, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, means it's more mature, but I've said it before, I'm not sure if they sent me the wrong plant, but it's, I do love the fact though that the, the lobes are starting to become like three different lobes, but it's not really typical of a pink splash. 
but anyway that's what it was sold to me as and then I have my Albo which I got um, so I had my variegated leaf then I got two green leaves and now I got another variegated leaf not very big again guys this is down to this window not being very bright so this is one of my new babies. So this is a crocodile fern that I bought at Metro for $16.99. And I've always wanted one. I've had my eye on this for quite a long time, so I'm really excited to get it. My Monstera Deliciosa Pie Constellation. It did put out a new leaf. Um, it's Actually, it's this one was the newest leaf. And now, which mama is is preggers this one here <laughs> so this mama is about to put out another new leaf so that would be oops so that would be five leaves on my pie constellation i did put the mother plant back up in my bedroom because that's where i always had it and i think it gets a really nice morning sun up there so here is my hoya australis and it is growing nicely here also it's, it has put out actually quite a few new leaves and then, I'm not sure what this looks like up there. This is just the skin dapsis that I repotted from my cuttings. So it's still quite young. And guys, this was the score. So the score of the century. Look at this. I got a silver sword, philodendron, silver sword in Metro with a maturing leaf wait for it, for $16.99 in this little pot. Isn't that just delightful? So since I saw Fern from Wild Ferns, one of these, I became absolutely hooked. So I'm so delighted to have got this. Here is my Philodendron Florida Ghost. Now, some people were messaging me saying that they didn't think it was a Florida Ghost. I actually think it is because the Florida Ghost does have a red, oops, because I read up on it and the Florida Ghost does have a red petiole and it does have a fuzzy petiole similar to the Squammy Ferrum because it is actually a hybrid of the Squammy Ferrum and I can't remember the other one. I'll put it up on the screen. So although the leaf isn't white coming out, I think maybe it just needs more light. I was speaking to Amy from Wolfgang, Wolfgang's mom, I think that's her name, and she said that it, she thinks that they just need a lot of light. So that's why I moved it here because I get nice sun in here in the morning. But looking at the petiole, I think it is a Florida ghost. So I ordered three of these and I would be very upset if it wasn't a Florida ghost. But I'm gonna try it here now with more light. Hopefully, I will have got the correct plant. Here's my Monstera Peru. Love this plant. And look at her. I had to actually extend my moss pole. I just did it like a day or two ago. I do have a video on how I made these moss poles and I'll put it in the description for you. So I'm hoping that the leaves will get bigger, but you can see there's lots of growth on this. So she is doing very nicely and I'm hoping that she will go all the way up here and maybe I'll have to even extend it further. So I'm very happy with her. And here is my Birkin. So it's starting to fill out really nicely guys, isn't it? So these were the original leaves that it came with and I think all of this here is new. So I'm excited about that. Here I have a Monstera Adansonii that I put on a moss pole. So I'm hoping, if I actually had it hanging in the window here and it was almost up at the ceiling and it had, well, hadn't started to trail yet. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to put it on a moss pole. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this. And here is my Monstera Dubia. So, look guys, it's finally starting to climb. <laughs> it's about time. I guess it was dormant for the winter, but now it's starting to climb. Nothing too much going on in here. A little bit of new growth there on that other elbow. 
um, and the babies are looking pretty happy in here. I did get thrips in here, guys. I could not believe it. So my Angliana, or I can never pronounce this one, this little one at the back here, I noticed some of the leaves were falling off of this and I took it out of the cabinet and there were thrips. I couldn't believe it guys, I nearly died. So I took every single plant out of here, I treated every single plant, washed all the pots and it actually was quite bad. There was quite a few thrips on there. So, so I had to give it a really good treatment but I think it is contained now because that was probably about a month ago and I've checked it regularly and there is no more sign. It's my Pilea peperomoides that was in my spare bedroom for a whole year, never got watered, like ever. And then I rehabbed it under my grow tent and now she's back to her former beauty. A whole year guys, no water, no attention. Okay, so let's go to my other greenhouse. So look at that magnificent leaf that I just got on my Sarawak. Isn't it beautiful? I got some new growth on my Painted Lady Philodendron. And look at the sun stressing there on my Hoya Sunrise. I've got quite a bit of growth here on this Hoya as well. And all oh, these babies are doing lovely. I just love this. So this is a Hoya Carnosa Freckles that I was very underwhelmed with when I got it, but now I absolutely love it. Look at the amount of growth I have got on it. It's doing gorgeous. There's a Callistophylla. This is a Hoyschgaliana. Scandapsis trubia. This one is a little tricky, for sure. There is my Hoya Bella variegated, which I bought as a two-leaf cutting, like a couple of months ago. And these are some of the cuttings of my Mycans that I just stuck in here. My beautiful philodendron hope she's doing beautifully. Look at how big she's getting. And here is my philodendron cream splash, which actually gave me some green leaves. Can you see there? And now it seems to be variegated again. Here is my Hoya Shepardii. This is a cutting and it's doing really well. And there is a true Syngonium pink splash back there. Can you see that? So at least I have two of them and I have the one that's in my window. So if that isn't what I think it is, at least I have two. I have to show you this, guys. Look at this Mandula pathos. So if you recall, I, I put these shutters here and I put some fish line on the shutters so that I could grow some plants up it. Look at how much this Mandula has grown. And there's another new leaf coming. Actually, I should probably take it out of the fishing line. Hang on a second. Let me just take it out of the fishing line till it's a little bit bigger. But look at the new leaf that's coming behind there. So this is doing great. The only light this gets is from this lamp. There's only one bulb in here. I did have 5,000 Kelvin in all the, the lights in this room, but it was a bit stark. So what I did was I went to Canadian Tire and I got the grow bulbs that are like 5 dollars and I put them in and I replaced the 5,000 Kelvin. Now the plants were doing perfectly well with the other, but these ones are not as stark white. So it just gives a nicer light to this room. There's my little dancing bones, Ripsalis, and that's just doing great. And here is my easy and look. We're getting a new growth on it again it only gets light from this lamp and look at this guys this is that adansonii that i also put on the shutter now i know the leaves are small but you know what i don't mind because i think once it grows up to the other side the light will be better for it and they will probably get bigger but look at how much it has grown and here guys look at my asparagus fern Look at how much she has grown. And look at this frond that she's thrown up here. Isn't that just so cool? I love this plant. This was like so cheap, so cute. I bought it probably, how long would I, uh, actually there's just a few little brown leaves on there. You do have to make sure you keep this as moist because it does like to stay moist. But look at how much it's grown. I love it. 
I gave one to my daughter and of course she has incredible light. So hers is a monster compared to mine. But you know what? Considering the only light it's getting is this lamp, I'll take it. <laughs> now this is the Monstera Deliciosa that I cut up. I cut it up, there wasn't one leaf on it. And I took, I took all the cuttings and now it's starting to come back. Now, I don't know if this is the ideal location for it because, again, it's only getting light from this lamp. But considering I saved it and I got a couple of plants out of it, I'll just leave it here and see what's happening. And then if I do need to move it, I will. So, guys, that's pretty well it for in here. This room is just... A little haven for me I absolutely love it we had dinner in here yesterday for Easter Sunday and I didn't clear off the table so I need to do that now but this room brings me so much joy okay guys so I hope you enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you watch till the end guys don't forget to put the green heart emoji in the comments if you've any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask and thank you all so much for joining me